It was emotional. Emotional is just one of several words that run through the head of Matthew Coster. He's president of the Baltimore Firefighters Union Local 734 and one of the thousands who spent Friday paying their respects to firefighter EMT Rodney Pitts III. Some 2,000 people gathered at the Cathedral of Mary or Queen in North Baltimore for the funeral service on Friday, including the mayor, lieutenant governor, and members of city council. His cousin says that it's amazing to see all of the support. Rod always just wanted to make an impact, and um, he did just that. Um, this was way more than I expected, but it just goes to show the, the love that everyone has for my cousin. The procession included buses full of city firefighters, heavy equipment, and a motorcycle escort. People waited for hours to see and salute Pitts' casket during his final ride on Engine 29. They're our hero. Thank you for being our hero. We did not know you, but you are our hero. Afterwards, many of them gathered at the fire union for a repass. Just stories being told, you know, we have firefighters from all across the country here and um, they're just supporting us right now. Coster says it's a time for people to speak with Pitts' family and just show their love and support. They're supporting us just as much as we're supporting them. So it's, 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 it's a new great relationship that we have you know, during this tragedy. He says the others that were injured in the fire are doing well. But sadly, he says it's something they may have to do again as they get ready to pay their respects to Lieutenant Dylan Ronaldo, who passed away this week after suffering burns and injuries from that same fire. Coster says they'll always be there for the families as they cope with this emotional time. And the cause of that fire remains under investigation. Reporting live here in downtown Baltimore, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL TV 11 News.